Look at that ooch. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, peace, Ollie. You know, he's the worldly wise one of the repeat the deuces. Uh, Dad Camel's sick from smoking too many cigarettes. <laughs> Everybody has a good laugh, yeah. Well, when the Batons come to, well, group, you'll understand about anything. You know, learn the new, what's that, huh? Uh, they celebrate. They go down through the trap door and smoke a huma of uh, Primo. Hand pressed, Pakistani, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> back to the magazine. Um, in the same ad, there's two men carrying fishing poles beside the Atlantic Ocean. What is an ocean? Oh, an ocean is a body of water so big that it would take up from Kandahar to London. The pajama. Who does he think he's talking to? Some coochie nomads who've never been to Peshawar? Oh, they shout Bandamir. Well, that's the biggest lake they got in Afghanistan. Six miles across, beautiful turquoise water uh, north of Kabul. And it's famous because it's surrounded by these, uh, you know, 100-foot cliffs that have Buddhas in them, like 10-story Buddhas carved there a thousand years. Priceless world heritage. Too bad the Taliban blew them up with dynamite. Pagan idols. Yeah, Bandamir. Well, uh, he explains um, it's time for another hook. Oh, let's go back under the trap door. This is, you know, taking quite a lot of energy from Sphinx. I mean, this is page by page, advertisement by advertisement, and, you know, uh, the Batons are keenly uh, looking at everything. And this is like November. Hello. This is the pre-Christmas issue. This is going to get you to buy as much booze as Playboy can. So it's loaded with liquor ads. Well, oh, okay. <clears throat> Back from under the chop door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, Aladdin points to, look, glossy ad, okay? Beef feeder. Uh, dry gin, and it's got that, uh, what's that? Royal British Guardsman in a red velvet uniform with a little bit of thin black and white stripes coming down it, uh, protecting the Commonwealth beside the sentry box. <laughs> well, those lethal uh, Ky Kyber Pass handguns come out on that. <laughs> And the Batons mimic shooting. This apparent homosexual uh, beef eater drama queen? To death. Bam! Oops, Mohammed fired a bullet into the cedar crossbeam. Bump bakery. Mm. Uh, oops. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well, by this time, Sphinx himself. is uh, becoming extremely ecstatic because he took a life or death risk here. Uh, I mean, this could have gone either way. Um, throwing conservative caution Islamic culture to the wind. Get it out of here. Yeah, he's endangered himself. Finally stripping. The seven veils of Jeherazad, that fucking forever flirt. Oh, uh, to lay out. Okay, Scheherazade. Mm -hmm. Lay it out, Scheherazade. Uh, naked truth. Who cares about the truth? We just want to, like, look at this. Um, yeah. Uh, worldly wise, uh, Sphinx guiding them. Oh, you know, and... Uh, yeah, these landlocked, sexually frustrated, isolated uh, Pathan horsemen, huh? 
Horse can only go so far. Then you got to go horizontal on something. Well, now, mm -mm. the mood turns more serious. Okay. Thanks. Look. Yeah, we see all the liquor ads. Where's all the ads for hashish? Different kinds of American hashish. <laughs> the Egyptian guide to Western civilization explains to them patiently. He's so patient. That the king of America oh, will not allow his subjects to smoke. Marijuana, hashish, or he will put them in jail. Oh, if they uh, dare enjoy these spices of life. Well, pizza, <laughs> puzzles like, oh. Uh, well, why ban hashish? Hashish makes life fun. <laughs> you know, um, well, well, okay, uh, Sphinx goes deeper. I mean, they've asked for guidance. So in the 11th century, a hashish sect of knife assassins, this is where we get the word assassin and hashish from, the assassins of, of Hashishan on the Rock of Olamet, remote Persian rock fortress. So he battled the Christian knights. Syria, Levant, Jerusalem, uh, and often slit the throat of their grandmaster. And uh, But the Europeans didn't know what hashish was, but every time one of their grandmasters got his throat slit, there would be this in the air. So, I mean, this was like the top story in the Middle Ages. What was in that smoke? Well, they found out it was hashish, and ever since, you know, hashish has become the evil elixir of the Muslims. Oops. So, yeah, okay, big, big uh, gap there, cultural gap. I mean, I've been in Rhodes. You can look in at the Turkish coast. It's only 12 miles away. In Greece, they lock me up like a rabid dog if I smoked a joint on my hostel balcony looking at sunset. In Turkey, they like, get out a hooky and like share, okay? 12 miles away, see? Stupid, huh? Yeah, well, that's why uh, Pasha's book, The Hippie of Hastries, is such a bestseller in the coffee houses of Amsterdam because he explains all of this in in detail with maps. <laughs> That's why they want Sphinx to do another run, 400 kilogram, <laughs> assassin's so famous, let's get that, we'll all make us so much money, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, so, and he says, look, the Americans, the business, alcohol and tobacco, monopolies, spices, monopolies, and uh, they don't care, it kills 20 million humans a year, uh, you know. We're out for the um, the cash. Get that marijuana hashish out of here. People might start to like it better than than booze, huh? 